All right, guys. So my routine and my workout, and the reason why I do it is because I want my money to not be put into waste, and I want to see maximized maximized uh, results fast. And what I do is I do chest, back, and um, yeah, chest, back, and shoulders in one day. All right. Uh, you could substitute shoulders with uh, biceps and triceps, or um, you could just do shoulders depending on um, how you work out. And that this this method is meant to uh, maximize my bicep growth because um, I'm getting a workout when I work out my back. I'm working on my biceps as well. Uh, when I am working on my chest, I'm working on my triceps as well. And by doing biceps and triceps, I'm hitting them even further. So not only am I getting a back and chest workout, but I'm also getting a bicep, maximized biceps and tricep workout. So after that, um, the next, the following day, uh, I do abs and legs, and then I take a break, and then I follow the same routine. So I do chest, back, and shoulders on Monday, and on Tuesday I do legs and stomach or abs and then I take Wednesday off and then on Thursday it's the same thing and then on Friday again um, legs and uh, biceps and then Saturday Sunday um, same deal so I, I take a day off in between so I go um, I do my bicep tricep uh, chest back and then I do my leg abs and then day off and then I do the same thing and then a day off uh, this way, I'm maximizing uh, my results. That means that um, it keeps me from slacking off, and it, it makes me want to go to the gym more often. Like uh, Some people will be like, man, it's chest day. I hate doing chest, or man, it's leg day. I hate doing legs, but I love doing abs, so it forces me to do uh, legs as well. Um, I love doing... Uh, my back, so I'm forced to do my chest as well because that's my routine and I abide by it. So um, that is an efficient way to really see results fast. And um, there is, I mean, you don't want to push yourself too hard because if you do injure yourself, uh, that will be it for a while. So you want to make sure that the weight you're lifting is right. You don't want to lift too heavy. You don't want to lift too light. Um, if you feel like um, you're having trouble lifting, you want to lower the weight, because um, believe me, if, you, um, if you're at a weight level where you're uncomfortable uh, either lifting or uncomfortable um, working out at that weight level, um, you could really injure yourself. And once you're injured, you're out of the gym. <laughs> Simple as that. You don't want to get injured. Um, so that's my routine, and what I do is uh, I do three sets for my back. So um, I do three sets of 10 for my back, three sets of 10 for my chest, um, two sets of 10 for my arms or biceps, and then two sets of 10 for my triceps. And then if I'm not doing uh, bicep triceps, I'm just doing shoulders, I do two sets of um, shoulders, and that would be it. I'm done. It's worked for me. It's pretty efficient. It's a pretty efficient way to go. Um, I know people that one day they do their back and they hit it hard. Another day they do their chest, they hit it hard and whatnot. Both methods work just as well. Um, the method that I'm mentioning you, that, that I'm telling you is the method that um, this guy who I know who's, who's studying nutrition at UCLA, he recommended that I do that. I mean, he's huge. All right, he's a big guy, and I'm telling you directly what he has been told me. He has been telling me for a while, and uh, once I started using his method, I saw results. But the thing is that you want to go to the gym persistently. You don't want to take take like if you take a week off or two weeks off. That's another mistake that people make. Um, you have to be dedicated and keep on going, and keep on putting adding reps and keep on adding weight until um, you're comfortable enough, uh, until you reach um, your potential and you reach where you want to be headed as a bodybuilder or um, whatever your goals are. I'm, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I just want to gain weight. And um, 
that that's it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know why anyone wants to be a bodybuilder, but I'm not in that category. Product I'm showing you uh, is a product I recently did a video on. Um, people are asking questions. Now, the, um, the ideas and whatnot that I do mention and I do make videos on, these are my ideas. These are stuff that I've been told and I've done research on. You could do your own research. You could come up with your own results. But um, that's solely up to you. You can try what I've been telling you and tell me if it works. Tell me if it doesn't work. That's up to you as well. But if you do, okay, for last point of this video and, and, and I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'll take your comments and um, I'll respond to them as best as I possibly can. You want to take a pre-workout if you decide to do this routine because you really need the energy to hit three body parts in one day. Um, it will be tiring. It will be hard. So you do need a pre-workout that does contain caffeine or does contain supplements that will give you that energy boost that you really need to hit three body parts in one day. Um, I mean, that's just... you. I, <laughs> I can't imagine doing it without it. Um, I've tried doing it without it after I've tried the method for a while and gotten used to it. Um, and I've executed it kind of well. But when I first started out, had a pre-workout. You need a pre-workout, all right? Um, that's my video. That's my thoughts. Another problem with this is that it has creatine. And so when you stop working out, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that you've built up goes away. Um, like, I, I can't really show you right now, but um, I used to be a lot bigger. And I've lost most of it because of creatine. So, motherfuck creatine. <laughs> Alright, that's my video. Um, any comments, any suggestions, any um, objections? If you disagree or agree, let me know. Uh, I'll definitely get back to you and uh, whatnot. Thank you guys for watching and happy working out. Happy, have a happy workout. <laughs> Peace.